Got another question here on the aromatic chemistry topic. So as always, the link to the questions in the description of the video if you wanted to try it first. Okay, so make a start. So there's Kekulé's structure, obviously, so I'll be referring to that throughout the answer. So three pieces of evidence that led scientists to doubt this model. So the first one I'm going to mention is the bond length, the carbon-carbon bond length. So if you think about the structure of this, Kekulé is obviously proposing alternating carbon-carbon bond lengths uh, because the CC double bond is slightly shorter than the CC single bond. What they found, obviously, was that the carbon-carbon bond lengths were all the same and that they were intermediate in length between the carbon-carbon double and carbon-carbon single. Next piece of evidence I'm going to talk about is the way that benzene reacts. So if you think about the carbon-carbon double bonds, you would expect this, something like this to react readily with something like bromine, whereas in fact benzene will only react with bromine in the presence of a halogen carrier catalyst. And the final one is about the enthalpy change of hydrogenation. Just make sure you say hydrogenation and not hydration. It's a common mistake I see. So if you think about Kekulé's structure, you've got three carbon-carbon double bonds. So you would expect from that structure that the enthalpy change of hydrogenation of this to be three times that for cyclohexene, which obviously only has the one carbon-carbon double bond whereas they actually found out that the enthalpy change of hydrogenation was less exothermic than that. 